What up, guys? So, um, new year. Let's get the year started off right. So, as you can tell, went ahead and added an intro. So, um, yeah. It's going to be an interesting year. Um, happy new year to you all. Happy holidays. Any of the holidays that just happened. It's now 2020. Uh, so, I ended 2019 off. We ended it with uh, about you know, 4.2, just over 4.2 thousand subscribers, so, um, 4,200 subscribers, so thank you for that, let's try and hit, you know, 10k this year, um, so it's going to be a little bit different, um, this is just kind of an update video, I told, uh, I've mentioned it a few times, so, um, this is finally it, so here's the deal so i'm gonna try to post um i need you guys to let me know what you want me to post about i'm obviously gonna stick with the cars maybe some technology here and there maybe some um probably not as much gaming because a lot of the youtube rules have now changed um but there may, may be some fitness stuff as well um reason i say fitness and just in general my journey um is this so 2020, and here's why I say 2020 is going to be different, at least for me, and it's going to be a lot different on how videos are going to be done. So this year, um, I was originally supposed to leave February 3rd. I was finally accepted to the Marine Corps. So that's what's going to be different. Um, it's still going to be relatively the same, though, in a way. But um, so I was originally going to leave February 3rd, okay? So, as that goes, I was supposed to leave the 3rd of February. Well, something, some stuff happened, um, and now I'm leaving Monday, which is now Monday the 13th. Which is exactly 30 days from when I swore into delayed entry program. And for those of you, I'm just going to kind of explain what that is. For those who don't really know what delayed entry is. Delayed entry is pretty much just a program that the Marines do and i believe army does as well something very similar and i'm not sure about the other branches to be honest but um the way it goes is it's just kind of preparing you for boot camp it's a mix of workouts and things such as that um kind of preparing you for what's going to be at boot camp talking about what will happen at boot camp um teaching you some things that will be taught in the classroom because a lot of people think that boot camp is just all physical and it's not you are going to be in a classroom and i'm going to get to experience that so for the marine corps we have the longest boot camp at least to my knowledge which is 13 weeks long so 13 weeks and i will check in after that and if you guys would like i will gladly do a video please leave a comment down below if you want me to do a video on you know whatever um i'm gonna do a video if you want a video on kind of what was what I liked about boot camp, what I hated about boot camp, even um, want to post some questions down there if you're interested about boot camp, um, like just interested in the Marines or military. Um, I can't speak for all branches, but I'll try to answer what I can, at least especially about boot camp, because that's all I'm really going to have an experience so far. Um, if you want any tips, pointers, whatever, go ahead and comment down below. I'll make a whole video on that as to, you know, what's what happens at boot camp what, how to go into boot camp what you just kind of some things um i'm not sure what all i will be able to talk about but i'll try to talk about whatever i possibly can um i'm not gonna say too much but here's i'm just got a couple of things because as many of you know there's a lot of tension right now with the united states and iran I know about as much as you guys know whatever's shown on the news. So I've already had a few questions asking, hey, what's going on with this? Do you know just because you guys know I'm going to the Marines? You know, I know about as much as you guys know, and that's the same for a lot of the military. Um, those, a lot of people haven't been called in. Some might get called in and some might not even get called. So just be careful kind of what you guys say and also be careful about what you post just because you don't want to post names, you don't want to post uh, locations, deployments, things like that because that could compromise troops, that could cause a lot of bad things and you guys, that can technically be traced back to you. It's not to scare you, that's not to try to get you guys in trouble, but that can, don't be careful what you post and think before you post just because that can cause a lot of problems for not just you but troops as well so 
I'm not being deployed overseas, but that's just kind of a little thing. That's just what I know. I know about what's going on. A lot of troops don't even know what's going on because that's they're not over there. The only ones who know really are the ones who have been over there fighting, who are over there and are who are given such information. Um. Anyways, um. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That's 13 weeks, so just over three months long, and then I'll post a few videos of an update. Um, for those of you who know me personally, um, you know, if you want to have any questions, you can contact me however you know how. Um, anything on here, just go ahead and make a comment, and I'll go ahead and try to answer as many questions. I probably won't even do, like, depending on the number of comments, I'm not going to comment everything down in the posts below unless it's very minimal but if you guys got a lot of questions go ahead and just post them and i'll go ahead and make a video on it um yeah so i swore into delayed entry on the 13th of december which was a friday which is kind of odd friday the 13th really was odd i never thought about it till about halfway through the day so um so it'll be exactly one month to the day uh, swearing into that yet you're supposed to be in delayed entry at least 30 days before you can go to boot camp and you have to meet the requirements and keep in mind this is about two and a half weeks earlier than what i was supposed to ship totally fine i'm cool with it i'm ready to go i've spent about two years trying to get in i'm ready so um anybody who's thinking about trying to go in just realize that just because it's 30 days, and yes, they move some people's dates back, they're not going to send you if they don't feel you're ready. So apparently they feel I'm ready, so I'm, I'm going to trust that. Um, yeah, so that's just kind of an update. So I will be gone three months. Um, no phone, no nothing. I'm not going to have any social media, no contact. Um, so that's just how that's going to be. It's just going to be that way. So there will be a next three months no videos from me so when i get back i'll post an update saying i'm back you know i made it i'll do a whole you know update kind of update you guys what it was like got any questions you know whatever um i'm hoping so i have kind of switched my route on the website that i was trying to make for the company um you know um for those of you who don't know i have changed their youtube name it's smx i believe that's what i put it as i'm not even sure what i have my channel name as i've changed it a few too many times um but yeah you can see what that is down below so just or whatever it shows you so um i believe it's under smx and i'll give you a little insight to what that is smx is my first and last name sean marvel and then just x instead of spelling exotics like it normally is i'm starting it with an x so smx exotics so sean marvel exotics that's going to be similar to my goal behind it is to make it something similar to vf engineering for those of you who don't know what that is they are a high performance automotive tuner and they do a lot of other things that i'm not really certain on but uh, they do a lot of superchargers on vehicles such as, um, you know, like high performance cars like McLaren, Lamborghini, Ferrari, whatever, cars like that, ECU tuning, superchargers, so Audi, kind of things like that. Um, that's kind of one of my goals. Now, some of the inspiration here behind putting that name, making it SMX, so I've always had kind of a trouble um, trying to figure out a name for a company um i've always wanted to kind of own a business and that's what i'm going to try my goal is to have the store open by the end of this year at the latest that is what i'm hoping at least is a website i'm not sure what i'll be able to do in the way of services i may be going to school i may not be yet i'm not sure um my goal is hopefully to still go to the tech school that i plan to go to i'm not going to mention it just right now for whatever reason uh, i just don't really feel like mentioning it right now um, I'll update you as that comes along. Um, anyways, that's my ultimate goal is to be more like VF Engineering. Here's the inspiration behind the name. So Daily Driven Exotics, many of you in the automotive community know that they're an automotive YouTube channel, very popular. Um, and I've always liked how they did the camo wraps and they were able to advertise their YouTube channel. So I'm kind of, that's why my YouTube channel is here. 
is to also advertise for it but as well as it's part of the company so i'm gonna end up putting smx on the side of all my vehicles um as i get them i am selling my ford and that is going to be gone before i ship to boot camp so here's the fun thing there i will likely i'm not certain what car i'm going to get yet it's going to really depend i'm hoping i will get the first car on my dream car list when i get back okay from all of my training so that's not just boot camp that's all training coming after i'm gonna really just in case i'm just gonna avoid saying anything about what training that is right now anyways that is that um hopefully and that first car and i know i'm probably gonna get a lot of hate right now and immediately uh run into crowds and if anybody knows what that is in the car industry you probably know what running which car is most commonly run into crowds I'm not going to run into a crowd. I'm literally going to try to change that. But it's it's just a thing. It's not everyone does. So, um, I don't know. I've always liked Mustang. My mom has had two Mustangs. I love Mustang. I don't know. I love the design of it. It will likely be a 2019 to 2020, maybe a 2018. Just depends how that goes. Um... That's my goal. If not, I might do an Audi RS3 or a Corvette Stingray, but I will likely, most likely, do the Mustang. Um, it's going to cost more, but that's what I'm willing to sacrifice, is to put more money down to get what I want. And also, it's going to be used here on the channel. I will make content with it as much as I can. So, um, that's... Hope you guys enjoy that. Um, so, that's a little insight to the future and what's going to happen. It will... I know the color, sorry, excuse me. I know the color I do want. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get it. I will try, but it will eventually get a wrap. Excuse me. So that wrap is going to actually, and it's going to end up showcasing that, um, like I said, it's going to be similar to Daily Driven Exotics because they do DDE. So mine will be SMX on the side, and I'm not sure quite what the wrap is. I have a few ideas. I do like, there's a few wraps I really like, so... Uh, yeah, just be ready for that. Um, be ready for the company to your website to go up and then, you know, just be ready um, for kind of a little bit different change. YouTube's changed their rules and also setting. So I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell that this is a mess, but I'm moving. So I will, the scenery is going to change a bit. So just be warned of that. So it's going to be different some different content coming out so but yeah so make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you all in three months see ya